What is good y'all? This is I went to Japan and spent too much money by Alpha Rad. This video was coming strictly at the request of a few y'all in the comment section of my Jaden Animations video. By the way, shout out to y'all for all the love and support y'all are showing on that video, bro. I appreciate y'all for real. But yeah, a lot of y'all were saying, yo, you should watch Alpha Rad's video. And I was gonna just watch it to myself, but I decided, you know, let's bring it to y'all. We already watched the animated version of their Japan trip. Now let's watch the, you know, the one with the more IRL clips and all that on Alpha Rad's channel. So that's what we're here to do today. Without further ado, let's get it. I've never been to Japan before and have zero self-control in buying merchandise. So imagine $7,500. Offer to fly Damn. To Yokohama, Japan <laughs> for the world champion. Would I pay that much for a life-size Goku? I might if I had the money. I brought an empty one because, come on. I got to visit you more than one empty one. LAX and then I took to the skies. And hopes okay. a decent Japanese sleep schedule right from the get-go. I slept on my plane for six hours and then scripted another uh -huh. video that required me to skim through 30 hours of Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, wow. My job's kind of weird. And after landing yeah. at Tokyo Airport, I was greeted. Looking forward to that video. And only Hatsune Miku. Hey. Hello, sure, but we'll be seeing her again soon. And it was mm -hmm. at this point when it finally hit me. Ooh, Persona 5. In Japan. Like, place Japan. I mean, yeah. I grew up being obsessed with Pokemon, and now I'm being flown out by the exact same company to visit Japan? Like, I've yeah, man. things on this channel, but this is a genuine dream come true and the start of the greatest trip of my entire life. It really would be, man. I hope I get to go but one day. So bad. The entire city was decorated for Pokemon Worlds. Yeah, There's look at it. Airports and banners on the side of the road, and there was even art scattered all across Yokohama. Bro, see, okay, so just to let y'all know, I don't do too much pause on these longer videos because the video's already long as hell but i'll pause every now and again bro it just it just makes you look at our country and be like yo why don't y'all go so hard why don't y'all go this hard on the shit that people like here bro like y'all will put celebrations decorations up every now and again maybe for like the national holidays but for something like pokemon they decorate the whole city with just shit all over the place it just makes the city fun to walk through they don't do that here bro it's just it's whack it's whack. This is not me trying to compare the countries on a like, oh, I think US or Japan is better. I'm just saying that Japan is like a lot more fun of a place to live, even if you grew up there. So after checking into this beautiful hotel room, thank you, Pokemon, by the way, what do you think was the first thing I did? McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. I know this sounds dumb. They went to the Japanese McDonald's. American brain has this deranged fixation on trying chain food in other countries. So hey, here's my current McDonald's tier list. Needless to say. Oh. McDonald's is pretty damn good. Hold on. Hey, here's my current. So the McDonald's. Oh, Japan's number two. Well, I guess they're just both in, in S tier. Okay. McDonald's All right. Tourist. Needless to say, one in USB. McDonald's is pretty damn good. I got a big order, but I try to make double with eggs. Oh. And the best McNuggets of my life and whatever. That, that looks fire. Also, their menu featured a double Big Mac. And that's yeah. the most American thing I've ever heard of. So why haven't I? Why don't we have it? Exactly. Uh, note from future me. I tried it. And now I wish I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, I guess this is a good time to mention that I don't know how to speak Japanese, which probably isn't too much of a surprise. I mean, I learned <clears> to <throat> read the hiragana alphabet through Duolingo, but like what? Okay. Reading the words if you don't know what they mean. Sure, I knew True. a few phrases going into this trip, but I immediately realized it was going to be harder than I thought because I didn't even mean to order egg on that McDouble. Since my first oh. day was really only my first half day. A yoki egg on a burger is good though. Arcade, checking out some other stores and finding some incredible stuff. Oh my goodness. And then I learned about the Holy Land of 7-Eleven. No, 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 not 7-Eleven. 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 You know about this place and just throw it out the window. Because yeah. in Japan, 7-Eleven is revered as a holy... I said this in my last video, but... Food, like genuine There's this guy on TikTok who literally just makes content going to 7-Eleven every day. Ask for. From and groceries to porn to the stuff he buys is, looks amazing. Miku tickets, all the liquor in the world, and even manga. I don't think manga was the most surprising thing I just said. So I grabbed <laughs> the newest issue of One Piece and nothing else, and even though I... Oh my goodness. They were saying, Here we go with the One Piece. Special. On the next day, I got to meet up with the Pokemon team and all the other content creators they flew out. Look at First the buildings, bro. Meeting new people because of uh, social anxiety. <laughs> but everyone was so nice to me, I almost forgot how anxious I am as a person. <laughs> almost. Then we okay. visited the Pokemon Center in Sunshine City and even got to tour their sweets. Oh, what are those? It wasn't enough. Pokemon even helped justify my excessive spending by sponsoring this video. Did you oh, okay. Special well, we are going to skip ahead, though. Uh, all right, we so back. Where was I? 
Ah, so after the Swedes Cafe, Pokemon boarded us up on a charter bus like a middle school field trip and took us straight <laughs> into Chinatown. Oh that my was goodness. Crazy. That was uh, phenomenal. And even got to- I wouldn't be able to stop eating. Pepper. Tastes like Dr. Pepper. I also did okay. a touristy thing where I just go- Nicer can, point though. Point at it, but then had the strangest culture shock when I got lost in a random convenience store. Oh, Every wow. Every product, like ever, is currently collaborating with another product. And wow. To put it in other words, it's like Fortnite. Ha! Everything here is like Good comparison. Fortnite. I refuse to explain myself further. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I see it. But I made a few wrong turns and ended up in a wild Japanese arcade that held me hostage. To That's not a wrong God turn. Goddamn dragon air. <laughs> of course, there are tons of other cool prizes scattered throughout the arcade. Oh, Poppy Playtime. I've seen that. Dedicated to the point of being classified as financial ruin. Yeah, I might have spent about 10,000 yen. They also had a tiny... $67. <laughs> that <laughs> That's still a lot of money to spend on a damn prize grabber. After that, I was okay. done, but I thought about the coolest prize I saw, which was this little mermaid figure. Like, out of all the it does look cool. I saw in Japan, this was by far the coolest one, and I don't know why. Little hmm. did I know, those two purchases were the start of many, many more. Oh, yes. Pokemon took us to this gorgeous tea garden, and uh, trust me, videos do not do this place justice. We even got oh, the tea ceremony, let the tea master do what he does best, and then Pokemon served us this whole dinner, and then... I just, I just want to just go ahead and throw it in real quick. It, it's so nice being able to see the live version of all the stuff that Jaden animated, and again, if you ain't seen my Ration of Jaden Animations video, boop, is up above. You know what I'm saying? Up in the upper corner. Go ahead and click that if you ain't seen that yet. That was a great video, too. Jay Animations always makes great videos. But it's like, you know, now that I've seen the animated version, it's nice to see the real stuff. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Ceremony, let the tea master do what he does best. And then Pokemon served. I didn't even know this video came out like three months ago. It's five. Really Something like that. One just, I, I don't get it. That's a lot of food. So when that was all over, it was a lot I of hopped food. on the magic school bus and met up with a few friends for drinks after. And I don't remember the rest. Like alcoholic beverage? Okay, well, <laughs> that is just that. Where everything suddenly started going wrong. Unfortunately, all the creators got granted early access to the Pokemon World's pop-up merch store. Look, I've been oh, to goodness. stores, and what me and my wallet both expected was like a tiny little store that may nah. have like a few exclusive items. Nah, so bro. Very incorrect. <laughs> like, of course they rented out a giant convention center for Worlds, but what Goodness. I didn't know was they rented out another convention center next door to sell merch. Just to this sell merchandise. Uh, let me reassure you, I was not prepared for this, and neither was my accountant. There was just so much wow. stuff. Wow. Hey, Jaden. Like this deck of cards I bought for $30 that I later found on eBay for, oh, oh my God. But this place oh like an egregious amount of experience. So you got a deal then. From switch cases to decks to figures to to plushies, to cups, to stickers, to full kitchen sets, jackets, shirts, cards, and tons of other stuff yeah, I've bruh. never even seen before. So with a couple <laughs> heavy bags by my side, I checked out and saw an incriminatingly high number. Goodness. A number around 270,000. Listen, man, if we're all, if we're big YouTubers at an event like this, we're spending all the money. Like, this is what we're doing, yo. Like, we're, just, we're spending all the money. It's, it's just what it is. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm not gonna regret a single purchase, personally. I ever go to Japan and I if I'm a big YouTuber by then and I have the kind of money where I could just spend 20 G's and not really feel it like that you probably he probably felt it a little bit but it's like more of a I mean he it's alpha right he has money we know this like we ain't got to talk about it YouTubers like him that are down earth and humble don't ever flaunt their wealth but we know his pockets is, 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 is deep we know this so 20 G's probably ain't really none to him that's why he spent it you feel me and I'm just saying if I had money like that I'm spending it too spending it too and for what it's worth the goal of this video isn't to flex my financial incompetence. Oh yeah, we know. It's really just a cry for help. This day nah. is honestly pretty packed. Cause you're gonna do it again if you ever go. Field trip was to Creatures Headquarters. You know, the place where cards get made? They would yeah. explore the office and have some Q&A sessions with some higher ups in the company. But the coolest part was that they let us make a Magnemite. I don't know Jane you know, was tatted up like that. Little Pokemon cards that are all I guess I haven't seen her IRL in a long yeah, time. the lady who made those was just there. Gave us all the materials to make her IRL on Camera. Uh, mine turned out unique. <laughs> when we finally left Creatures, it was pretty damn late. And I was like 16 hours of jet lag kind of tired. But who cares? Because okay. tomorrow we're going to Shibuya. 
You know, hey. the place where you spend money. Yep. I got to meet my hero Sprigatito and then get hey. a dangerous entity known as the Tokyo. Who's, what started y'all picking Scar and Violet? I also picked Sprigatito. So their shelves were loaded with everything I could ask for. Pins, hoodies, plushies, designer sweatshirts, and even okay. coin purses. Oh, oh, that's fire. What if you're a Zelda fan? What if you're a Splatoon fan? What if you'd like to, wow. like to buy an Amiibo at not scalper prices? Also, I was shocked <laughs> to see actual Splatoon guns and this one Zelda plush with a oh but what surprised me the most actual gotta go back what like it's usable obviously it probably doesn't squirt ink I mean it definitely doesn't squirt ink but what is like a water gun bro a Splatoon themed water gun will be so goddamn fun oh my goodness bro I just need to go but again I need to go to Japan when I have a lot of money I don't want to go to Japan to where I pretty much spent all of my money just getting there. And now I'm just there for two or three weeks, but I can't really, I ain't really got too much money to spend. No, I want to be able to go crazy, which I guess you do kind of got to be, you know, you got to, you got to really have bread like that to be able to do something like that. I'm going to go to Japan one day, man. It'll happen. Splatoon guns and this one Zelda plush with a big ass fire. Of the time of my life. <laughs> she do got a bad ass forehead. This charming Mario pillow with a beautiful brush stroke design. I am a helpless okay. consumer designed to buy products. They even had figures that I have never seen before. Like, look, oh. I have worked on this channel for nearly a decade at this point. 2014. And all work is coming to fruition right now for me to spend all of my money in Japan. Well, <laughs> At least it was better than the Pokemon Center. From the they know all of your money. There's another Pokemon Center. The you probably made this money back. Traditional merch store that's sold in a month or two. Exactly what you'd expect to. A good amount of stuff here could probably be found online. But as for the other exclusive stuff, yeah, I bought that. As a matter of fact, I mean, I don't even little secret: YouTubers can actually write off certain videos, like they can write off the money they spend in certain videos as a business expense, so they can write it off on their taxes. I forgot, mess around and wrote this off. Said I spent this money for this video. Looking at, I, I, I don't know. I'm just saying he, he might have. But point is, you ain't spent. Yeah, man, you, you made this money right back. Found online. But as for the other exclusive stuff, yeah, I bought that shit too. I mean, I don't even <laughs> think it's that I'm bad at saving money. I think it's that I'm really good at saving money and I'm now getting to spend all of it right here. Uh -huh. I even had a Capcom store with a separate Monster Hunter section, which luckily only cost me a fraction of what the Pokemon stores did. Then I stumbled upon <laughs> Jaden forming an entirely new hyperfixation. Yeah. Kept I mean, what she was talking about that. So I ended up in an Evangelion pop up, which featured art that oh. was like comically hard. They also had themed Zen. Yeah, they're honestly the Evangelion. They always go crazy. The hole in my pocket. And then when I exited the store, Astro. I turned right and saw this. Turn about Astro Boy. Oh, no. Sure. I, I mean, like shout out Kobe, Astro but what the hell was that? Some of the best food I've ever had. Oh. Something I said a lot this trip. To finish the night, I went that to looks so truck, good. Friend, and then had perhaps the most interesting fan interaction of all time. I came across a store dedicated to all things Shonen Jump. So I decided to look around in hopes of giving in to my materialistic urges. Uh-huh. Then, like, a small child came up and pointed at me and just said, Son, yeah, I remember that. Jaden said weird, that. But the mom quickly noticed grabbed his arm, uh, apologized, and just <laughs> left. Weird, right? I assumed hey. it was just like a bad word for foreigner or something like that. But then I realized... He you have blonde hair, bro. Sanji San. It was just that Sanji, was yeah. the first blonde man he's ever seen, and he said Sanji San. I would spend way too much time in that jump store. Moving on from all that, <laughs> this store was heaven. Okay, law. I know this is supposed to be a video about Pokemon, but look, just, just look. My boy Deku this, back there. Okay? This place had charms, cups, shirts, hats, power, and the coolest mugs I've hey. ever seen. So as you'd expect, I bought nearly all of it. At this point, $536. Kind of it looks like a shitty souvenir shop. Then I finished my <laughs> night by just walking around, exploring the city, and getting 50 shades of fucked up again at karaoke, and they fucked Hey. Oh? After a okay, I seen another day. Field trips, it was go that. Time for Pokemon Quick, little friend. To start. The opening ceremonies rolled out, and just like that, players from all across the globe were ready to compete for it all. And yes, sir. Incredibly well decorated convention center. However, I didn't stay. Too oh yeah, they 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 left and went I shopping again. Busy with <laughs> returning to the merch store and buying every single one of my favorite Pokemon and sitting cuties for. And God, <laughs> this is. Bad. Oh my goodness! I purchased another two whole empty suitcases and spent another eighty thousand two hundred fifty yen. Goodness, bro! Isn't it beautiful? So yes, it is. Pokemon for buying my flight just for me to do this, and I'm pretty sure I paid my flight back at this point and it's not just the fact that you like want all the stuff 
there's a level of endorphins behind spending money. Spending money is fun. Like, I think there's something, I, don't, I would probably have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure there's a study about, my bad, I had to clear my throat. My throat was getting a little groggy for some reason. I'm pretty sure there's a study behind, like, spending money and why people spend money, even when they know they don't really have the money to be spending, they still spend it anyway. There's, like, an urge to spend money. Some people love shopping sprees, not even really for the stuff that they're getting, but they just love to go and just spend crazy amounts of money. They probably would just give you all kinds of endorphins and adrenaline pumping into your brain and your heart just spending crazy amounts of money so that that all that is also driving these these bad purchasing habits on top of the stuff that you want spending money is fun and if you have the money to spend it's even more fun because again imagine spending twenty thousand dollars and not having it hurt they're like crazy as it sounds there are people that don't make twenty thousand dollars in a year and to be able to just spend that over the course of a less than a week <laughs> that would just feel good man to, to, to have it not hurt your pocket they also gave me tons of free merch and it, it's, one day hopefully one day I, I don't even know how to carry this this is genuinely too much where do you want <laughs> me to, I, I don't need i thank you thank you thank you but like where do where where, where? anyways that night hey. off with pokemon showing off their new oh. to the peak animated series that's essentially just a battle shonen with breakneck pacing as this oh damn it's an oddish deck and goes near undefeated before winning worlds it's i didn't even know about this like damn what a competitor well, with an oddish deck yeah. I had to hop okay. on a plane bright and early because I had other plans in mind. That's just Demon Slayer action right there. Saka, I took a taxi hey. to the event of a lifetime. Hatsune Miku's Magical Mirai. That's right. I was finally going to see the Vocaloid legend up close and personal, but that would be so fire, bro. Start for a few hours. I decided to do what I do best and go to yet another convention center of a merch <laughs> store. <laughs> bro, like the fact that they even have a Vocaloid avatar musician that is like countrywide the most popular musician in the, in japan or like one of the most popular like hatsune miku isn't even a real person but they're so goddamn popular that they have huge concerts that sell the hell out tickets cost crazy amounts of money everybody goes that's just that's just like some uniqueness that you won't find nowhere else bro japan is just a dope place dog it's just full of just creative minds that have shared their creativity with the world and have influenced so goddamn many of us so many of us wouldn't even be where we are if it wasn't from the influence of japan creativity wise anyway and I just, I just find that crazy to think I decided about. decided to do what I do best and go to yet another convention center of a merch store. Also, getting concert tickets for something like this in Japan is hard. Big and deal. Both it's a big deal. For them in like May. And we're lucky enough to get chosen as one of God's little favorites to print out oh. tickets inside of a 7-Eleven. Again, <laughs> this place is just a place of... So that's how they got it from 7-Eleven. I was like, what? The Miku Expo had such an insanely varied amount of high quality merchandise. Uh -huh. So I already expected them to have Miku shirts miku backpacks miku glow sticks as well as an even larger financially destructive merch booth where you can get everything you could possibly dream of so we already know where this one's going right 636 dollars ready for the show not only do we get lucky with pretty damn good seats but i am taller than this entire country so our seats were pretty damn great okay expected i couldn't film or oh that, that makes so sense it was incredible it was breathtaking it was life-changing it was everything i could have asked this is probably b-roll but if you're looking in the crowd i'm somewhere over here so when i was okay this yeah dumb, stupid american that was b-roll public transit works, from them and then my phone had the audacity to show me that i'm walking about 10 to twenty thousand more steps than normal and it's like <laughs> yeah i know but <laughs> you don't gotta be so loud about it <laughs> right uh, no time to talk about it now because today don't tell me that i'm exercising the day for finals of the pokemon world championship i want to do it inadvertently i started watching from bed i mean i'm damn on a sunday morning i get to watch new one piece episodes live as they air and like that would be fire what an insane episode to watch live. So 1072. One Piece's best anime episodes concluded. It was time to walk down to the convention center and witness multiple champions be crowned as winners of Pokemon's World Championship. Some competitors tap their screens really hard. Some of them <laughs> just played Mew and some of them... Pokemon Unite. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on here. And then yeah. for the final competition of the day, VGC crowned an entirely new champion. Watching this entire okay. tournament was so fun and inspiring. And in case you missed it, they announced that Worlds next year is the animation place in Hawaii. Oh, that's fire. Which was a little ill-timed. And then made up for it by showing off new cards, new Pokemon, new moves, and whatever the hell this thing is. My experience here was genuinely unforgettable. And I am so okay, grateful. Okay, some Hawaii action next time. Finally giving me an excuse to 
to visit Japan. I mean, like, I put an Eiffel Tower in Japan. Say fuck. So I'm just as surprised as you are that I was here. So now what? <laughs> sure, worlds might have ended, but I extended my trip in Japan for two more weeks and stayed oh, yeah. in the cutest little Airbnb imaginable. Oh yeah, because you can't you can't go to Japan and just stay for a couple days or for a weekend. Hell no, bro. I said the same thing. If I ever go to Japan, I need at least three weeks. Maybe four. I mean, I might need a whole month out of that. Like, come on, bro. I mean, go to Japan and stay up for a weekend and go back home. Hell no. Hell no. Japan for two more weeks. I'd rather not go. In the cutest little Airbnb imaginable. As go for a weekend and leave. Like the absolute greatest days of my life took place. Just me and a few friends exploring. More drinks. Beautiful cities. Eating lots of getting the best food I have ever had. Even seeing multiple of my favorite artists live, which is mm -hmm. crazy to me. I even had my best theme park experience at Universal Studios Japan. And if I can be honest, this trip was just about. Apparently, they went to the wrong one. I've had. Oh, that's a little Kirby car thing. Started like nearly 10 years ago. I started this channel in January of 20. Playing Smash Bros. Yep. Very normal first year of college, and in January of 2015, it all blew up. From that point. When did y'all find Alpha Red? Focused on work to an obsessive degree. I found Alpha Red through Smash Ultimate videos. Pretty. No, no, no. Healthy and unhappy. Smash Four, then Smash Ultimate. In terms of how little attention I was paying. Like right before Smash Ultimate came out. Relationships and just not really enjoying life to the fullest. Or even to the, to the halfest. It's not <laughs> a bit much, but I felt like a- So what would that have been? What did Ultimate come out, 2018? It would have been like 2017 when I found out for it. I never really stopped to ask, are you happy? Is this what you wanted? But over the past few years, yes. I felt like I had to finally start asking that question because I, I was okay. miserable. I oh. focus on unplugging from social media, making plans with my friends, exploring activities outside of my comfort zone. And uh -huh. really most of that just stems from an attempt to preserve my mental health as much as I can. I don't think I always had the best grasp on investing my time into things that properly mattered, nor understood what it meant to put yourself forward. I mean, obviously, okay. I'm so grateful for the size of this YouTube channel and all the yeah. incredible perks that come with it. Like, let's keep it a buck. I am so incredibly grateful. Was that Alpha Red not? at a million yet I am before so smash ultimate dropped i don't remember everything the people but i feel like i have i feel like i found him before he hit a million for the first time do. and as weird now he had 3.3 and youtuber millionaire as it sounds i kept chasing it and chasing it in hopes of becoming happy and goodness it didn't work i felt stumped depressed tried new things out of desperation and was ultimately just confused it's uh -huh. hard to realize that not everything is truly worth your time but it's also hard to realize that's true that the things that feel like they don't matter do if they make you happy does that make sense okay I don't know if it does but what i'm really trying to say is that all i really want to do is live my life explore the world and make silly little videos for you in the meantime right i love creating content do not get me wrong oh was he actually dressed as sanji right there is that what i just see grinding if i didn't but i have slowly learned that there is so much more to life than spending every day trying to create a viral video or letting all these numbers determine your entire well -being. that's true and it's hard because like Here's the thing about YouTube, if, if you don't understand it- Bonus points if you know what game this song is from. Where the amount of time you put into it- Matter of fact, tell me the level too. Directly well, not level, but how much you get what I'm saying. Of it. And that is dangerous. I don't know why I decided to dedicate a section of this video to my sudden change in worldview, but it felt important to me when writing the script. Okay. Which means it's important. To me. Nothing wrong with it. You know? I can't say right. I always had the most stable life, and I know I usually keep those personal Frozen that album. private. But I that is, you all know, I'm happy. Not just yeah. because of this trip, but everything in my life right now leaves me something to be. Oh, that's that little window she was talking about. I am just really happy nowadays, and it makes me even happier to say it out loud. It was okay. Easy. I mean, <laughs> hell, it took five years of therapy, but I am so Damn. glad that I took that time for myself. That's a lot of therapy. And when it finally came time to go home, I spent the morning of my last day walking through the Tokyo heat for about a full three hours as if it was uh -huh. my own personal farewell to this trip that meant so much to me. Oh yeah, man. It was beautiful. And it was peaceful. No telling when you're going back. Like, bruh. Like, I got to be alone with myself. 
in a good way. So when it came time to pack my eight suitcases, yes, that's right. It's been two weeks. You haven't been updated. I have eight suitcases now. Yeah. And might or might not have spent Look at bro. since the last update. Anyways, <laughs> this mattress god I found on Uber fully packed his SUV, drove me to the airport, okay. and when it was time to board the plane and fly home, I had 10 hours to kill, and I wrote oh, wow. the entire script. Then packed oh, damn. And woke up in America. Wrote it in 10 hours, okay. But this story has one final chapter. What? I know this entire video felt like I was just hoarding all of Japan's merchandise within these eight fully packed suitcases, but I had a bigger goal in mind. Oh? I can sit and speak about all this growth I've had over the past few years, but none of it would have been possible if not for the incredible people that I've been lucky to keep so- Who was Justin Sanji? I have a large friend group I know, but each and every one of them mean everything to me. They right. challenge me, they inspire me, and simply help me become a better person through leading by example. So let me ask you this. You've been working the same job for a decade. Mm. It pays incredibly well. Yes. And you owe it all to your friends. Okay. What would you do next? Just buy a, buy a whole bunch of stuff for them every chance you get. That's what most of the merch was for. So my good friend, Mr. Jacob Alpharad, you might have heard of him. My friend. <laughs> And boss, <laughs> Jacob Alfred. I don't know if I'm supposed to do an intro for this or anything. He went to Japan and he bought everything. It'd be dope to have a friend group of content creators, but you're really yeah, friends, though. He spent a lot of money, but not on himself. <laughs> he gave all of us, his friends, large boxes of shit from Japan. I yeah. don't know what I got here. So I'm going to, we're going to find out together, huh? Okay, what they all get? Wait, can I even show this on the screen? Okay, I'm going to open it, but you don't look. The first thing that you don't look off is the is a little Kirby shell. Dude, hey, open. there we go. What's the first thing? What's what that? the fuck is this? Kids in car. <laughs> Shit, I, how did I lose something already? Quite a number of objects. As you can I see, I can't wait to get a shirt from 7B microphone. Mentally normal collection of gifts and merchandise from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot show that on stream. I literally can't show this on stream. Oh, uh, I want to know what it is now. I'm really excited because I get to be a fern. Oh, that's fire. That was real fur? You, you, this one? Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Bro, it looks like everybody's happy with their Absolutely gift. That's fire. Amazing. <laughs> oh! So Galarian Vulpix. Super sick. Uh, we have a Dragon Ball. I mean, hey, give me anything Dragon Ball. I'm happy. Like my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Baby in car. What are those I stickers? Fascinated. It's magnetic. Yeah. This might be. This might be the most beast fire. Okay. Spider-Man cup. Seen, honestly. Oh my. That not Spider-Man. Look at this. Oh my. I don't have this amiibo. Really pretty holographic. That was an amiibo. I love Tinkaton. Look at this. It's mega me. I love. Oh. So Look at this shit. Bro, JJK is so fire. Okay, never mind. This is my favorite suit, the Street Fighter suit. Uh, I got probably the sickest jacket in the entire world. Uh, That's Shanks, right? I don't watch One Piece, but I think I know the characters. Sleeves. There's Shanks on the front. Yeah, okay. On the inside. No, I know a little something. Why do they, uh, they, they conveniently have her big fat cans cropped out of this? <laughs> I don't know if he knew this. It might have just been a, a soul read, but I love Robin Williams' genie. Oh my god. Okay. Every single day for the rest of my life. Yeah. Of course. Look Bro. at him. Oh, this is so inefficient, but. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> He's showing it out on a pool table. So cool. <gasps> the fucking Marshall. Me cool. My that a poster? Captain Kid. Uh, sexy babe. Oh, were those Persona yeah, trading cards? Like Yo, Snoopy. Hey, what's on about Snoopy? No shot. What is that? Yo, Miku card mat. Let's go. Look at okay. that. Okay. Mario. She must play the game. And it's just the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm geeking at this. This is definitely my favorite bag. Oh, the same guy, though. <laughs> <laughs> Inkling. Split okay. statue. Got him, Matt. Oh, my God. Look at <laughs> Bro. Wait, okay. Mario Cup. Got a Mario Cup. Ta-da. That's where the chopsticks will live. So it's like, yeah. It's like a oh, that's a chopstick holder. Back. I was wondering what that. I thought it was just a figure. Spread of characters, which is really, really cool. <gasps> yes. What's that? Oh, my God. Stickers. Like, more magnets? 
Jacob knows me so well, I feel like I don't even really mention it too much anymore, but like, if you've <laughs> known me for a while, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. How do you find something like this? Oh my god. Next this man hooked all his friends up, oh, bruh. I love this guy. Big boy. Big boy, but little boy. Hey, big Snorlax. He's so good. Rowlet, look at this boy. Look at this fucking awesome dude. <laughs> Guys, come on. How can you not love Wooper, right? He's got like the biggest, biggest smile. Fucking Wooper. My goat, my Okay. Son. This guy, the way he's built is insane. My baby boy. Oh my gosh. He's just a baby. He's just okay, so you remembered all of his friend's favorite Pokemon? I still can't Every read it. Single time. I barely know English. And got them all for him. Rodon washing machine. Wait, no, vacuum cleaner. Wrote on vacuum cleaner. I know the difference. I don't think I know all of my friend's favorite Pokemon. I know some of the Pokemon that they like, but their absolute favorite. Was that Luffy? You know? Super! Oh, that's awesome, dude. Haikyuu Volume 1 in Japanese. Oh. English, but this is sick as fuck. There's so much more than I expected. <laughs> wait, wait. That's heat. I love the design. I love the white and the blue brim. <laughs> I love her so much. Okay, she got all that Hatsune, Hatsune stuff. I don't know. I don't know what you can really fit in here. <laughs> Some Pikmin action. Manga. Coins. I do love this show. I've never read the manga. I, I will be reading this. Look at that. See, look, all their art is beautiful. This shit is so cool. The Evangelion. Oh this is a Hatsune Miku bag. <gasps> He's a lot that he, he remembers. He sent Ross these sick One Piece mugs, and I'll definitely be drinking those are fire. Every day. Thanks, Jacob. Sanji shirt. Oh, it's gonna be flipped. Oh, fuck. If I recall, oh. Super Nintendo World. Look at the, look at the booze. A lanyard with pins. My boys. I love them all so dearly. Okay. I don't understand what the fuck Pokemon cards are, man. Zoom on the camera. <laughs> I don't know how. Your son. Hey, man. People don't. A lot of people don't play with them. They just use them. I mean, they they get them because they look nice. Hey, Gojo. Sure you, uh, but they look nice. Give me two of them, but uh, sorry. I don't know the rules of Pokemon oh, playing card no. game. No fucking shot. Or trading card game. No way. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad you had a good time in Japan. I don't know what else to say. Thank you. That was, that that's really awesome. Everybody yeah. Subscribe for your fucking cringe. <laughs> Subscribe to me too, goddammit. Hey man, shout out to Alpha Rad for the dope ass video. Shout out to all of y'all who commented to me on my Jane Animations reaction that I should check out Alpha Rad's video because it definitely was worth it. Jane Animations video again was absolutely fire. Her animations are always dope. They take a lot of time to make, which is why hers just came out. Even though this trip was some months ago. You know, how, how many months ago was it? Well, this video here came out five months ago. So yeah, they went to Japan probably over half a year ago, whenever Pokemon Worlds was. And yeah, Jaden just put hers out because he puts a lot of work into her videos, man. That's, that's, that's why she's a huge, mega popular YouTuber. But like I said, it's nice seeing the IRL side of things too. So that was he, man. He showed a lot of stuff, spent a lot of money, got a lot of gift for his friends. Got a close friend group, man. Hey, you gotta always love that. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, again, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all for suggesting me this video. I really enjoy watching it, bro. Hope y'all enjoy my reaction to everything. Make sure y'all show a lot of love to this video by like, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, I'm up out of this thing. It's your boy, Dawi, signing out. Thanks. Hey.